Alright guys, um, right now I'm in the hall of the apartment I just moved in because my room doesn't have great lighting. And so I'm going to talk really loud and off so um, hopefully nobody will come through the hall and be all loud because I'll just uh, kind of ruin this video. So, But who knows, it might make it kind of funnier. So for today what I'm going to do is the top 20 ways to spot a freshman. The only reason I came up with this is the last few days has been moving day for college and there's some things that my friends and I have been talking about that we have noticed. Number one is they all wear the school colors. At our school, uh, UNCW, the color is teal. You can notice freshmen right away because everybody is wearing teal. You look at everybody else, they're wearing shirts like this, any shirt, whatever, you know, the frat guys are wearing their stuff. So it's very easy to tell that. So if you're wearing the school color, that's cool and all we know you're supportive, but it'll bring into, uh, it'll tie into some of the other things I'm going to say in a little bit. Number two, freshmen are happy over everything. They'll be like, oh, look, a water fountain. Oh, look, a snack machine. Like, they're just freaking out over everything and things they've seen, they have seen before. It's ridiculous. Number three, kind of goes with what I was saying with number one, they travel in packs. There's like eight of them moving together, and when you're wearing the same shirt, we know you guys aren't in a sorority or fraternity. We because there would be letters on there, the Greek, you know, letters and all. So it, it's real easy to know that you guys are freshmen. And that's what's going on. Number four, they talk about alcohol all the time. It's oh, I was at this crazy party last night. Blah 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 blah. And it's like they have to tell everybody. So all the other freshmen are thinking that wow, this is the cool person. We got to hang out with this person. So we're going to be just like them. Oh, they know all the cool people. Number five, they want a picture next to everything possible. It's like there's a statue at the school. Got to get a picture of it. I don't know if it's, you know, they're trying to use Instagram or what it could possibly be, but some building, oh, I got to take a picture here. This fast food place, oh, I got to take a picture there. It's pretty ridiculous if you ask me. I mean, it's college. It's not like you haven't seen the building before. I'm pretty sure you've seen the rest of this stuff before. Maybe not in a college setting, obviously, but it's still pretty ridiculous. All right, I gotta scroll down my list. Number six, they eat cafeteria food, and it's like the best thing they've ever had. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but back when I was in high school, I wasn't very fond of cafeteria food. I would imagine you guys would be tired of it, but there's still some freshmen who are like freaking out over this food. And it's like, I realize it's kind of a buffet and all, and you can eat how much ever you want, but they take it to an extreme. So you have the people who are freaking out, trying to eat everything, but at the same time, you have some of those girls who are like, oh, I got to eat my salad. I don't want to get in the freshman 15. So they're being all spastic, try not to eat anything. So you can just tell because you look at people's plates, you have the guys who were like gobbling down this food, just nom, 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 nom. And the girls are like, ah, I guess I can touch, I'll touch the piece of salad, uh, the, the piece of lettuce. And it's just like, it's, it's really ridiculous if you ask me. Number seven, they have maps and they're like always looking at them. But they stop at like the most inconvenient places. Like it'll be in the middle of a walkway. I gotta look at it. You know, like right in the middle of any little thing. Crossing the road. Let me let me look at this. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Number eight. They have some type of bag. Like it could be a gym bag, some ridiculous size purse. I don't even know, but they're always carrying like tons of things. Like they're going on some 32-day hike through some wilderness or who knows what. So it's pretty ridiculous. Number nine, I've noticed this especially with the girls. I guess the guys might dress up a little bit. They dress either super nice or super slutty. I've gone through the cafeteria around campus lately, and I've noticed that a lot of the girls, they're dressing like super low-cut shirts, all these other little things. Um, and some of them are you know, dressing up like it's about to be a formal or something like they got to be looking better than everybody else. And it's just like the rest of the people, sophomores through seniors, we're all just kind of like, you know, we don't really care how people look. It's, you know, it's college. Like you wake up, whatever you're wearing, that's cool if you want. So it's just something to notice. Number 10, you're kind of being like what I am right now. You're being spastic all the time. Or, you know, some of the people are looking real nervous, like, oh, where do I go? And it's just like... 
I'll tie this in with number 12, actually, so I don't, I don't lose my point right there. So I'll just cut myself off right now. Number 11, they talk about whatever it is in your city, like they got to go there. My college that I'm at right now is at the beach. So all the freshmen, they're just like, oh, I got to go to the beach. Like it's some competition, like whoever gets to the beach first wins. And it's just like whenever you get there, you get there. The beach is not going to lead. I mean, in your city, it might be the mall, some huge mall. It could be some tower. It could be a mountain. I don't know. But you'll probably notice that all the freshmen are trying to get there as quick as possible so they can tell everybody else, oh, yeah, I went the other day. I think somebody's actually going to be coming down your side. So number 13, or 12, I don't even know what I, what I was saying, but I'm guessing it's look lost. Like, um, for example, today, somebody... I just gotten their food and they're like looking like where on earth should I sit? It's like just pick a table, you know, like sit wherever you want to sit. No one just like freak out. Like there's tons of tables. Pick which one is open, sit there. Number 13. If they add you on Facebook, go to the page and see one little thing and you'll know if they're a freshman. You don't even need to see their class. Don't even worry about that. Just see how many friends are in their recently added. If you see 47 recently added friends, you know they are a freshman because they're just adding people like, oh my gosh, I gotta know everybody. So if they see me, they'll talk to me. Speaking of talking, number 14 is they either talk about how much they love or hate their roommate. Almost all their stories can either be about that or like I said earlier, about how drunk they're getting, any little party they were at, whatever ridiculous thing it is. Number 15, they're trying to see every dorm room to find out if theirs is better or if the other one's like worse. You know, who has the best dorm? That's pretty self-explanatory. 16, all the guys are looking for hot girls. Let's be real. They're like, oh man, my college, all the girls are going to be awesome. Which brings to 17, the girls are just looking for attention, which goes back to why they're dressing up that way. They're dressing like sluts because they want the guy's attention. They're dressing super nice because maybe they don't have that slutty body. Now, trying to, you know, say that there is a certain type, because I've seen some girls who shouldn't be dressing like that, who, who unfortunately do. But, you know, some people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to just dress super nice so I can get it, you know, have all the attention on me. Who knows? Who knows? Number 18 is they walk everywhere like they're Lewis and Clark. Or if you're not in America and don't know about that, they're like Marco Polo going through the Silk Trail. It, I mean, it's just ridiculous. They wander around, wander around. like They make like loops around the college. And I'm just there like, how many miles have you guys walked? I mean, I'm pretty sure by now you would know every single building where everything's at. And I mean, I know you don't want to gain your freshman 15 or whatnot, but it's like they're walking around hoping somebody will talk to them or, I don't know, just, you know, meet people. Just do that. It's a lot easier to go find where everybody else is hanging out at. Number 19, <clears throat> they're intimidated by older classmen. See, because when you're a freshman in high school, the thing is, you know that the sophomores through the seniors pretty much despise you. But what they don't realize when they come to college is that sophomores through seniors, we, we're just like, okay, yeah, we're glad you came here because, you know, you're contributing to the college. You know, we're not that, like, sophomore through senior type mentality you are in high school where all oh, we're better than the rest of the world now you don't really have that when when you're in college i mean there are those few people who do think they're better than everybody else but it's just like okay you're going to be going in one career path we have the same goal in mind to get a degree with most people besides you know whoever's coming to your mind that person who's partying all the time so other than that yeah i mean if you're a freshman you're watching this don't be intimidated Go hang out with sophomores, juniors, seniors. I mean, you'll meet some really cool people. So just give them a shot. Number 20, freshmen have something that they're using to make friends. It could be something like an Xbox. And they're going to probably post a Facebook status. Got an Xbox, brought my Xbox, but I don't have a TV to hook it up with. So if you have a TV, I can bring it over and we can hang out and play. Boom, right there. They have that TV. Oh, we have a TV, so if you have brought a movie or something, we can have a movie night. It could even be something like, I have my car on campus. If you need to get a ride to Walmart, wherever your local 
convenience store, grocery store, any store. It could just be that. So those are uh, my 20 things, 20 ways to spot a freshman. I'm going to give a bonus tip to you guys. And this could be about, it's kind of about that, but not really. Another thing you'll notice, but you're not going to spot this right away, so I'll include in the list, is there's a lot of good girls that go to college to basically become a whore, party girl, etc. It's like they want to change. They've been, they've been living one life their entire life, the last 18 or how many ever years it is in, in your country, 20 years, who knows what. I mean, it's like they get to college and it's ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Like the first day they're, you know, acting super innocent, don't want to cuss, don't want to talk about any little thing. And then you talk to them like six weeks later. They're, where's the alcohol? Bleep this, bleep that, like every little thing talking about. And you'll hear stories about them. Yeah, she had sex with like three guys in one week. And I mean, I heard even one about a girl who's like sleeping with guys under the stairwell because she couldn't make it back to her bedroom. Like you will hear about these crazy things and you're just like, don't come to college just to change you. Everyone's like, you can be whoever you want to be in college. But you'll be able to spot a lot of freshmen because they're all about, I got to change who I am so everybody loves me. All of the sophomores through seniors, they've met their friends. They don't really care about, oh, I got to meet the whole world. I got to do this. I got to do that. Now, you don't need to do that. So if you're over here thinking about, oh, I'm going to change who I am so I'll, everybody will like me, I mean, those friends are probably going to be the friends that are going to stab you in the back. Well, guys, I know some of you guys hate me and some of you guys love me. I really don't care. But um, this is a very long video that I'm going to have to edit. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, have a great day. Go make some fun of some freshmen, I don't know.